just cold. Oh, you look wet. <laughs> you look wet as well, actually. <laughs> it's good to see you, Mamuka. Thank you, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. Leaving Chatilly and going towards the pass and going towards Tbilisi again. Today is a little bit cloudy. We knew that it's all it's already October, so you can't expect the weather to be super sunny every day. How are you, Ed? Yeah, it's kind of odd to be going back down the same road. There's basically nothing for 15 miles between us and the top of the pass. So today's challenge is just to get over the top of the pass. Little did we know that less than a mile later, our day would be made considerably easier. This one, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you offer that, mate? Okay. Okay. Hold it, he will take you up. Whoa, whoa. Thank you, Basha. Thank you, Basha. Thank you, Basha. Thank you, Basha. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. On the World Unicycle Tour, I would have never have done this, you know. I was always about riding every single meter on the road. But this isn't the World Unicycle Tour, this is a different one. And we've already seen this road and it just gives us more time to see other places. So we're very happy to do this. You know, it's a different part of adventure, isn't it? And it's nice when people see you and off the ground. Yeah. Help and sure. say, hey, thank you, you know, you are here for us. Yeah, I have so many truck drivers like this offer me lifts up mountains with the unicycle, and I always have to say no. So it's nice to finally be able to say yes. We were very grateful to Hota for helping us out. He had saved us a lot of sweat. As we vibrated up the gorge, we noticed that the weather really wasn't improving which made us even more thankful that it had given us a bit of a jump start on the day. So... Oh, hey, honey. Seven kilometers. Seven kilometers to the top. Yeah. Seven kilometers. All right. It's okay. all the pass. Thank you very much, Hota. Madloba. My goodness, that's a bit of excitement, isn't it? How is he? All good. Nothing broken. A bit of a rough ride there, didn't you, mate? It saved us about yeah. ten miles of climbing, yeah. and probably yeah, like half the day. Yeah. Amazing. But before we continue to the top of the pass, first a quick word from this video's sponsor. Surfshark is a VPN app and browser extension that enables you to connect to the internet through a different country. This offers you an extra layer of security to help keep your personal details safe. So imagine this, you're sitting in a coffee shop and you decide to connect to their local Wi-Fi. You select the network that looks as though it's associated with the cafe, you get online and you begin working. But little do you know that the Wi-Fi you've just connected to is actually coming from the router of a dodgy dude sitting in his car outside, simply pretending to be that cafe. This is called a man in the middle attack, and his aim is to monitor everything you do with the goal of stealing your personal information. But by using a VPN to encrypt your traffic through a secure tunnel, you can protect yourself against it and reduce your risk of becoming victim to this kind of attack. The VPN I personally use and recommend is Surfshark. And by using my code EDPRATT, you'll receive 83% off with an extra three months for free. 
And if you decide, actually, this isn't for me, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk to try and get out today. Thank you, Surfshark. Now back to the video. Вы говорите по-русски? Да, да, Чуть -чуть. да, да. Я по-русски хорошо знаю. Да. Я азербайджанец. Я в Казахстан до Барды. Да? да, да. <laughs> Сколько Это... собак у вас есть? А, собака десять. Э, десять. <laughs> Они помогают досмотреть да, да, за... И э, сколько? Тысячи. One thousand. Oh. Ah, wow, отлично. Wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing. А где вы живете здесь? Вот там поворотчик был, там палат. Ага, там живете, да? Да, да. И да. там где что? Всю зиму или не, не, нет? Не, 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 не. Сейчас через пять дней. Пять дней уже. <coughs> Проблем нету, мы э, летом здесь стоим, сир делаем. Может, в следующем лету приедет, я все Грузия знаю, <laughs> все гору знаю. Ход это Кудаури, ну, да. Татушети, Шадили, я все знаю. Я, я... Да. А, а через пять дней где вы? Куда? А, туда, где вот между Грузией, между Азербайджаном, там ага, Грузия ага. мест есть. Там, да? Ферма есть там. Зимой? Да. 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 У меня есть Фейсбук. А, да? Тимур Багиров. Тимур. Ага. Фейсбук есть. Mm. Тимур, Тимур. Тимур Пагиров. Мадлова, всего доброго, спасибо большое. Хорошего вам пути. Пишемся, отправим, да. The legs are aching, hands. Did it, mate? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it was a relief making it back over the pass. And now, with the hard part out of the way, all that was left to do was enjoy one beautifully foggy descent. You look wet. <laughs> you look wet as well, actually. <laughs> How are you feeling cold? I'm all right, actually. I, I'm happy to get down. We are very close to Mamuka's house. So I think we're going to go knock on his door and say hi. Because <laughs> he did say, oh, when you come back down the mountain, you can come and stay. So we yeah. might take him up on that offer. Wow, it's so muddy, it's so muddy. Look at all this mud. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mamuka, it's good to see you. Da. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite explain just how lovely it was having a friend like Mamuka looking out for us out here. <laughs> It seriously felt like he'd adopted us as grandkids. And even though it had been just two days since we'd seen him last, it was great to see that he was doing so well. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> it's good to see you, Mamuka. So Mamuka just headed off to tend to his cows. Uh, and Ashala is cooking dinner tonight. She's <laughs> cooking Hashani. Do you want do you want to show? She was like, Yeah, this is your home, feel like home, it's your home. Um, I'm gonna go out, take care of the cows, you do whatever you wanna do. <laughs> I was like, okay. No, it's nice that we get to spend another Tapas night here. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I kind of feel like he he needs company and he just enjoys us around and yeah, yeah we just enjoy uh, being around him, so yeah. No, it's like, I mean, there's only two people in this village, or not two people, but him and then another family just up the hill. Um, yeah, so he was saying that before he noticed Ed and uh, they were repairing a roof um, at his neighbors and then the rain started. So he was like, oh, okay, the work's done. So they started drinking cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> so we came, we came, he noticed you, he was started like, Edward, Edward, Edward. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like home, <laughs> home, straight home because it's raining, it's snowing. And we came here and the first thing is like, cha-cha, drink cha-cha, yeah, it's drink a medicine. The tea, drink the tea, it'll warm you up. <laughs> Get warm, sit by the fire and drink some, drink some cha-cha. Give me more stuff to wash. Yes, yeah. I'll wash some more stuff. And could you wash this one too? How yeah. Many yeah, yeah. Allah Starovi. Box Starovi. Ahmed, you are just cartoonless. Gruzinski Zakon, he come Kapski, she come Kapski, never do this Zakon. Aha, the law of the country. Best cup. If you finish till the end, it's finished. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Bez kaplat. Yes, it has to keep Vosim Dissert Perigoda. Who's a star? Yeah. Sorok yet later, Ruska Yazik Uje in Nikavaris. Uje Zabavash Tapavash Tapavash Slushi Yosh Slushi Ti Stop Gavarish Madra Ia Uje Niat Vachait. Slava ni prichodet. Oh, slušim. Uje ni atvečaj. Ti što sprašivaj, znaš. A kada ja uže nisam. Oh, aj, eta normalni pej. Pa eta normalni pej. Ezeh. Нет, да? Это английская. It's in England where you drink a little bit, a little bit. It was a very enjoyable evening, even if Mamuka was making fun of me for sipping his wine. 
And to top it all off, at the end of the night, he treated us to a song in Georgian about the local area. The next morning was a much more subdued affair. A lot of wine and chacha had been consumed the night before, and we were definitely all feeling it. Yeah, we pila lekarstva. Сейчас лекарство. Да, утром. Два. Уже? Да. Почему? От головы. Ай, водка здесь. As much as we'd have loved to have stuck around and spent more time with him, it felt like a good time to get on. So we made our excuses, packed up the bike, and said goodbye. It was really wonderful getting to know Mamuka, and we hope that he continued living his rugged life out here for many years to come. It's kind of sad to leave him, isn't it? It was kind of. Especially kind of, with, with winter coming. It's, yeah. It's, I mean, it's kind of brutal to live there now. Like, I can't imagine in a couple of months when there's snow and the temperature's much, much cooler. No, he does incredibly, doesn't he? Living by himself yeah. up there. Wow, this road is much worse than when we came up. Like, it's muddy, yeah. And yeah. It's, it's cold just, as well. And yeah, but maybe in like eight miles we will get to a good road. Yeah, so it would like be this. nice. It would be nice to get. Yeah, well, we know, don't we? We'll get back yeah. to the, the asphalt. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, not to concern you, but I am a little bit drunk. But I do feel in control. Yeah. But I'm sure that's what. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Drunk drivers driving cars say as well, don't they? Yeah. But we'll just take it slow. Yeah. And that pretty much ended our time in this part of the country. From here, it was a straight shot downhill, back down the road would come, all the way back to Tbilisi. Oh my, everything was incredibly adventurous, but it was so <laughs> crazy. It's intense, is it? It's very it's intense, yeah. Intense. I just want to have a hot bath. <laughs> but before we can make it back to the city, we once again had to face the extremely sketchy Georgian-Russian military road. And it was packed with just as many trucks as we'd remembered. Yeah, not pleasant. From here, we decided to put the camera down prioritising making distance and not getting ourselves squished. And that evening, after our longest day on the bike so far, we arrived in the old town of Muxeta, just 10 miles north of Tbilisi. made it 60, 63 miles yesterday. <laughs> we, we thought we would try and get back to Tbilisi in one day. And then it got about to about like 6, 6.30 and we were both like, it's too wet, it's too cold. We're both bloody tired. Let's find somewhere to stop. And we happen to be... In Mtseta, mm -hmm. at the uh, former capital of Georgia. Um, yeah, where the king lived, calls the kingdom of Iberia and considers to be a holy city. We spent some time exploring this holy city, 
admiring the cathedral and wandering down its cobbled streets before jumping back on the tandem to crank out the final few miles to Tbilisi. It had been a pretty full-on time up in the mountains, and as we arrived back in the capital, we were both very much looking forward to taking a short break off the bike to rest up and recharge. Always stuff all over the bed, isn't it? It's always the best place to put stuff. Got a video exporting at the moment, still working through the UK tandem series. That's still work in production. There's the bike looking also like a bit of a mess at the moment. A few days later, after washing all of our grubby clothes, recharging our equipment, and giving our legs a well needed rest, we felt ready to pack the bike back up and hit the road once again. So we're finally leaving the city of Tbilisi for good. <laughs> We've got warmer coats, warmer clothing, and we're ready to face the Georgian winter. Yeah, heading west, and then we'll head north, and then we'll head south, and then we're just gonna do a massive zigzag around the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while our route was still extremely rough, our main aim for the coming weeks was to wiggle our way through the country, explore what there was to explore, and ultimately finish this ride at the very west of Georgia, on the bank of the Black Sea. You ready to hit the road properly? Yes, yeah. Yes, actually, yes. Actually, yes. As always, what exactly we'd see on the way, we didn't know. But we were both more than excited to get pedaling to find out. If you'd like to watch the next episode right now, you can for as little as $2 on Patreon. And if you're feeling really impatient, you can head over to Vimeo and binge this entire series from start to finish over there. Your support is greatly appreciated. 